Hiru Land is a neighborhood in the spectacular Victoria Island area of Lagos. It's a high brow area with serene and clean surrounding, made up of apartments with state-of-the-art designs. The Oniru area is a major commercial hub and one of the most sought-after locations for property acquisition in Lagos State. Welcome to Inside Lagos. Amade Doja. Salam Adeniyi. They are the students who graduated from some skill acquisition centers in the year 2019 under the Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation. More than 6,200 of them acquired in-depth knowledge on textile designs, shoemaking, aluminum fabrication, carpentry, and furniture making, tailoring, and hairdressing, among others. I graduated from the fashion designing department year 2019. I'm so glad to be among the graduate students today. As a hairdresser, I've learned how to make hair, how to make wig, how to braid, do a lot of things. Wife of the deputy governor encouraged them not to misuse the skills acquired during their time at the center. Remember you have to pray because prayer and hard work works together. That is exactly why we are here today, that we are celebrating you today. But at the same time, we have to learn how to package ourselves. In today's ceremony marks the beginning of a new phase of life for the trainees who have meritoriously completed their training, which duration ranges from 9 to 12 calendar months. Others give life experience speeches to motivate them. After the first train to the university, I found out that I was not cut out to be an accountant. But ironically, my first year result indicated that I was on first class. But I didn't stop at that. I decided to enroll in a roadside shoemaker. So every Friday, I would get back to my house and enroll this roadside shoemaker. I was there for about four or five months and I started business. For Governor Babaji Desuwum, these ones should never fail to explore various government interventions put in place to make their job easier. Each time you look back and say, I want to give up, you will not give up. Because you don't know maybe the very next one is your chance. We open a fashion hub at Ikeja. Even if you, as a fashion designer, and if you don't have all the machines, you don't have the button making machine, you don't have the embroidery machine. That hub will provide you that opportunity with a talking amount. You can go there and go and do that your finishing. The vision of WAPA is to reduce poverty in Lagos State through various departments, agency and units in which skill acquisition is one of them. The vehicles are the governor's talking to Anna the judges for their commitment to work. In addition, are eight houses located in Lekki for the judges. All of these, the governor says, are to encourage incorruptibility among judicial officers. We are indeed ensuring that our judiciary has all it takes to seamlessly perform its duties as a bastion of the common man. We cherish the work you do, and we thank you for justifying the confidence repose in you. We appreciate you for being independent umpires, even when the stakes are very, very high. The chief judge of the state, Justice Kazim Aluba, described the event as double grace for members of the judicial arm in Lagos State. How can you do it easily? It is part of what you are doing for us today. And with all of our amenities being provided for us, I know that you will not be disappointed. Thank you very much. This is the second time in one year that Governor Babaji Desonwo will be giving out official vehicles to members of the state's judiciary. Last October, the governor gave out 50 official cars to magistrates to aid their duties. I want to urge you all to see it as another call to duty. That, that you do so very well, but it's another crown and call again. We're also remembering our retired judges, your senior colleagues who have meritoriously served the nation and the state. We have continued to do something for them and will do more. 
in his efforts to create conducive ambience for the judicial staff to encourage their duties, last Saturday, Governor Sonwolu third the Ikeja and Igbo Shere High Courts for facility inspection and approved a complete renovation of court rooms in the two courts. Road construction and infrastructure development have remained central to the themes agenda of Governor Babajide Sonwolu's administration and his quest to deliver good governance to residents of Lagos. In keeping with the promises made during electioneering, Governor Sonwolu last Friday flagged off the execution of statewide projects across all 377 wards. This intervention will bring about the construction of more than 250 roads and the installation of 23 power projects. Members of the state cabinet, as well as the All Progressives Congress local council chairmen, councillors and scores of party stalwarts, led by the state's chairman of the APC, Tunde Balogun, witnessed the ceremony held at the Adeyemi Bureau Hall in Alausa. This takes the statewide 377 world project, which is being launched today, is a demonstration of inter intervention to projects at the grassroots development level. They were conceived in response to the request by the various communities across the state and by all of you when we met sometime last year. We did promise and we said to you that our government will do things differently, we will change the space and what policy and politics it's all about. And we promise you at that time that we will give the responsibility to you, our counselors, because you are the ones that is closest to the people that we are serving. And we said to you that you should go back, have conversation with your board and with your, with your leaders and agree what little intervention do you want to point to that from the government of Babaji Sonu at the state level, I brought this to our local and to our world. What you submitted, this is the breakdown. The breakdown of the concern project are as follows. So roads and drainages turned out to be 257 out of the 377. 257. Buildings, buildings meaning health center, viewing center, all sorts of anything that is building turns out to be 86. And power, I meaning electrification, transformers, and everything turns out to be 23. We have nine boroughs and two jetties. So if you add all those together, it turns to 377. That's the breakdown of what you all submitted in the various wards. The breakdown of the project past in the Toria district turned out to be in the central central district 94 in the East, 99, and then in the West, 184. We must all work to forge the path towards better future. Her words are apt. Her actions are always targeted towards providing for the needy and building a better society. This is the story of Senator Luremi Tinubu, representing Lagos Central in the upper chamber of the National Assembly. She became the first lady of Lagos State when her husband, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, was elected governor at the return of civilian rule in 1999. She established the New Era Foundation dedicated to all-round development of young people and promotion of public awareness on environmental health and community service. She was all the way in support. As Shiwaji Bola Tedobu said, little did he know that she was going to be well-rooted and accepted in politics. She never gave me an indication. Even while we were in exile, she's always you know, a highly domesticated, hardworking housewife had taken care of some of my businesses and friends. Her husband openly disclosed that he never supported her political ambition, 
but was prevailed upon by leaders of the party. I never, never encouraged her to get into politics. It was forced on me by the leadership of our party. This is a true revelation. I was so bold that day when we were discussing. I, I asserted that it is not a question of persuasion. But it is a question of my being your elder. <laughs> and we have seen this our wife, you know, has been suitable. In all respect for this position, so I asserted that as your ignore, I am decreeing that your wife will be will go back to the Senate, will be a, 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 a senator. Nigeria. Senator Lure Mitinubu was also part of the struggle for democracy where she was on hand to give support to her husband. She has paid her dues. When her husband was being hunted in Nadeku, in those days by uh, Abacha Jonta, she was there with her children. They would have killed her. They escaped with the husband abroad. She was the one cooking for all these uh, leaders in uh, Nadeko abroad. Born on September 21st, 1960, to an Ishekiri mother and Yoruba father, she is perhaps the only senator who has sustained quarterly meetings with her constituents since inception. The great nation is riddled with great talents. She is said to have remained steadfast and committed to the welfare of widows, the elderly, youth, students and artisans. In recognition of her achievements and contributions to societal uplift, she was honored with the National Award of the Officer of the Order of the Niger, OON. As she marks her 60th birthday, her husband and many others wish her the very best. Baby, now you are 60, you are 60. So, she will continue to be what you are. And I wish you the best in life. Now let's take you to our special report on Oba Abduwasi Wamogbolaon Adisalawal, the new Oniru of Aero Kingdom. Kabis you. Many knew Bolahon Lawal as one of the Lagos princes, but never knew he would become a king so soon. As a commissioner for housing under the Akimu Miyambode administration, Bolahon Lawal was up and doing and made sure that hundreds of tenants turned landlords in a mega city like Lagos. Thanks to the Lagos Home Ownership Mortgage Scheme, Lagos Homes, founded by the Babatunde Fashola administration, to encourage and support home ownership of first-time buyer residents of Lagos State. Following the success of Agric Yes as a coordinator of the Agriculture-Based Youth Empowerment Scheme in 2009, Bolaon Lawal was appointed as Lagos State Commissioner for Agriculture and Cooperative in 2011. As Commissioner for Agric in the Babajide Sonwolu administration, the Prince's performance was second to none especially during the distribution of COVID-19 economic stimulus package meant for the indigents and the most vulnerable in the society to cushioning the effects of the stay-at-home order. As far as we are concerned, we want to see how we can provide the social safety net. That is the essence of this program. So Hundreds of youth were engaged at the rebargain and distribution centers. On behalf of the state government, Prince Lawal also received palliatives from the federal government to further help the poor. So on behalf of the good people of Lagos State, we want to thank uh, President Muhammad Bari for this kind gesture. On June the 4th, 
news broke that the commissioner for Greek had resigned from the Lagos State Cabinet to pursue his dream as a king. Then the video of how Obalawal entered Ikbebi, a seclusion where all rights are done for new kings ahead of installation, went viral. On the 7th of June, Governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwulu, presented the staff of office to Abduwasiu Omogbolawan Lawal Abisogun II as the new Oniru of Iru Land. Please, can I have a resounding clap with you? Due to COVID-19 pandemic, the event was marked on Loki and the announcement of the newest king in town. Drummers had a fun filled day. Ijinla Fraternity was a key component of the Lagos traditional occasion. The transition of the former Oniru or Bayesufu Abiodu Oniru from the Akiogun ruling house in September 2019 paved way for Oba Abduwasi Omogbolawalawa's emergence as new king of Iru land. The new Oba emerged from the Abisogun ruling house, his mother's lineage. You should leave the Oniru palace better than how you make it. Education closer to God. This is the first traditional ruler the governor would be installing, and fittingly, he is his former commissioner for a Greek. On behalf of the people and government of Lagos State, I have the honor to present the staff of office to His Royal Majesty of Abdulwasiu Omogbalaon Lawa, the Abisogun Second, the Oniru of Kinulan. Thank you. At the event, the new traditional ruler offered the olive branch to other aspirants to the throne. Some of my brothers, especially Adesheg Moniru and Prince Akim Ajasa, I want to extend my hand of uh, fellowship to all of you. This is where we call home, and so shall it be by the grace of Almighty Allah. To maintain the physical distancing, K1 the Ultimate entertained the guests from Ijebuode in Ogun State. Virtually. Fifty year old Bola Lawal is from the Ojora Aromire and Abisogun branch of Oniru royal families of Lagos State. His mother was an Oniru princess. The installation rise of His Majesty Oba Abduwasi Omogbolawan Adisalawal as the 15th Oniru of Iru land in Lagos State reached its peak with the coronation reception and public presentation of the kingdom insignia on Sunday, September the 6th, 2020. <laughs> A roll call of VIPs, administrators, politicians, led by the national leader of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Ashwaju Bolatinum, who the king was his ADC at the age of 29, graced the occasion. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu traditional rulers within and outside of the state, including the Oni of Ife, Obaeni Tongusi, and the representatives of Oba of Lagos, Alayelua, Riwan Akiulu, were all present. 
Today begins another significant chapter in the annals of our beloved Euroland, as well as my life's journey. This personally brings to my mind the complexity of life as espoused by the famous Gartnes when he said, and I quote, Does the worker choose the path, or the path the worker? End of quote. I am convinced that all these were in Allah's predetermined plans makes us expensive in his magnificent hands. vouched for the leadership qualities of the monarch, pointing out that Obalawal had enormous capacity to endure, learn, and listen. How well you focus on the development and progress of your land is in your hand. You can't achieve it alone without the support of the government. You can't achieve it without peace and understanding. We have seen Lagos progress. I'm very proud of you. I am very proud of the courage the Yoba we're celebrating today. The fact we started together Inside Lagos visited Iru land where the Oniru stool is situated. How is everything? We were welcomed to the palace by one of his aides. Good morning, sir. Yes. We wait here alongside his chiefs who already had an outing with the king. And here comes the Oniru of Iru kingdom. His wife is Olori Miriam Lawal. We deliver a gift as a token of love. You can't come to the palace empty-handed. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. All right, Kabesi, we would like to know, um, the first time you heard that um, you're going to succeed the former king, or Kabesi Oba Abiodun Niru, what came to your mind? Naturally, I was elated. I was happy. I uh, haven't gone through the selection process and the nomination and the approval of the, the governor and the executive council of Lagos State. I was elected like every uh, normal man. What are the innovations we are bringing to the throne? Uh, areas where we can quickly reduce poverty, mm. areas where we can quickly uh, bring about uh, um, um, parallel development. Mm. You know, if you look at the the location, the strategic location of this kingdom, we have the, the, the Atlantic uh, beach. Yeah. And uh, we believe it is important for us to see how we can explore the opportunities in tourism. It's very important. You've been in the public service for a very long time. And um, here you are in the Nero kingdom. What, what, what's the difference? It's an extension of public service. But as a monarch, you're, you're closer to the community. Mm. So as a commissioner, you're attending to the, the issues or matters of the state. Mm. But now you are attending to the matters of the community or the con your kingdom. Obauniru speaks on integrity as one of the weapons that qualified him for the throne. If you have any, any criminal or uh, whatever, mm. there's no way anybody will nominate you as a, yeah. as a, as a monarch. Go and check. Yeah. You understand? Mm. So, so, if you want to be a member of House of Assembly or Commissioner, you must have your, your record must be straight. This is in the Constitution. So, the same goes for if you want to be a king. Then, his appreciation. It's a good opportunity for me to thank the, the Almighty Allah. Mm. Did it and, and our ancestors that made it possible for me to be on this throne. They have been so long uh, ruling us. My mother, who is uh, who, who is uh, very loving and caring, 
I shall do what I meant to know. Who mentored me? Who gave me the, the political maturity and the, the administrative mm -hmm. capability? Cabis, the Alaiwa of Iluanu, Akulu, and to you. And then prayers. And more prayers. Cabis, you can do Pelu, you keep up, I'll play a cell. Cash of Pelenu. Ah, me, I share. And from the palace of Oniru of Iru Kingdom, His Royal Majesty Oba Abduwasiu Omogbalawan Adisa Lawal Abisogo II Kabesiu. We wrap it up onto this edition of Inside Lagos. Don't forget COVID-19 is still out there. Continue to take all the necessary precautions. Amade Doja, Salam Adeni. See you next time. Thanks for watching.